Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Forged in Shadow Torch, where today we are forging our way down into some shadows indeed, and then like eventually we'll do the plot or whatever. I would just, you know, I think we could just take a little bit of a break from the sewers, is all. Sorry, from some sewers. We've been in a lot of sewers, they have not been the sewers. Uh, no wait, I wanna go, did we see what's over here? We did not. Is it just a small amount of money? No, this is definitely like a real, a whole extra space. Ah, <laughs> gentlemen. Hi. <laughs> That is a place we can get to up there, right? It seems like it. I think that's where all of the sword sounds are coming from. But I can't... Hmm. No, the map suggests that that is not, in fact, a room. But there's clearly a break in the... I don't know. Very clearly a break in the roofing. Okay, I guess I can just swim slowly. It's fine. Never mind. Doesn't help. Okay. So yes, in fact, this whole detour was just for a small amount of money. Weird. All right, we're gonna have to go back and cash in our plant seeds at some point here. I guess next time we're at a, a teleporter would be a convenient time. Which is to say, not right now, we got stuff to do. Now, it's entirely possible, um, because the plot has not taken us to this place yet, that we're going to get down here and find that it's not very explorable with the gear that we currently have. But I guess let's go find out. Something about the way these caves are, are built, just sort of like the particular cavey look of them, really makes me think of um, Shadow Complex. Okay. Do not use force. Oh, this is that, that ancient thing that nobody's been able to find, isn't it? Supposedly. Okay. We will not attempt to open the door with force. This door looks different. We might need a special key to open it. Perhaps one that's separated into four pieces. I'm fairly sure... We had met that merchant in one other place where he clearly had a different inventory. I'm pretty sure he did not have a portion of an ancient key in that place. Yeah, here too. Okay, now this is the shark door. Okay, interesting. I wonder what the other door is then. Well, I'm glad we came back here. It turns out not to be of very much value to us right now, but it's good to know that this is where that is. So I guess let's go ask some subway running mice about which sewers count as the sewers. Which which sewers are the narratively significant ones? to put new guards into these areas with remarkable quickness. Nope. I'm not taking responsibility for that failure. There was there was a tiny hitch. You all saw it. The frame rate dipped very slightly for a small for just, for just a moment. Oh, 
Okay, may as well. Missing two entire health here. Alright. Uh, see, so this one does go further. Oh, see, this is where we were trying to go before, but we couldn't because we hit the, the water, I guess. Right? Because West Side was the name of the stop that we hit last... The, the menu option that we hit last time, I think. So maybe this is actually where the sewers are? Nope, the, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the thing here still wants us to go back and ask about the sewers, and we totally will eventually. That's definitely a thing that will happen. Well, this says sewers. I've, le I've learned not to trust it, but... Oh. That was weird. I mean, you did hit me. Was it worth it? I don't know. Saved by my own incompetence there. If I had actually been close enough for my attack to connect, then I definitely would have gotten stabbed. Where do you even get a bunch of frog ninja robots? And why did that become a thing? There's a Pokemon who is that too, right? I mean, he's not, not a robot, I think, but, like, Frog and Ninja just don't really seem to me like they go together very naturally. But I guess it's, like, a whole archetype now. I'm only familiar with this, uh, with this Pokemon because he's one of the ones you can play in Smash Brothers, right? Kind of hoping the tornado was going to protect my backside there. Didn't quite work out. Ow. Oops, sorry. Just unrestrained hostility. Can't help myself. So, relative to where we just were, okay, we're up quite a bit. I'm assuming I really don't want to try to swim in this. I mean, we gotta find out, right? Okay, so yeah, it does, it does damage to you immediately, and also, I can't even submerge. Stupid... Why is this saw blade... Okay, whatever. This seems like a real problem, actually. Hold on. <laughs> Please repair my rabbit body. The machinery is all fine, but I did get lacerated something fierce. I'm wondering if we even could jump over this. Honestly, it doesn't look very... Yeah. Hmm. Alright, we'll come back later, maybe. People 
off screen with their ranged attacks. I want you all to understand that I was ready to pick. It didn't end up being relevant, but I was I was prepared. Damn it. Yeah, the um the fact that the wall jump is largely vertical, even if you are actually pressing away from the wall when you do it, is a real bummer. Do you wanna? The selective passivity of the enemies is really strange. Ow. I guess I could have looked at the map on that one. Yep, and we're definitely not going to be able to get back up. That's that's on me. But this is the thing, right? You have that you have that urge. You got to Explore every hallway, punch every wall, hurl yourself down every open sewer shaft. sword enemy. He took a real beating there because of his teammates' incompetence. Ow. Speaking of taking a beating because of incompetence. They really shouldn't just let me do this in so many rooms. Okay. I don't know if that one can be parried. I certainly tried. I might not have gotten it right. Okay, I definitely needed that execution. Very badly, in fact. Oh, another real upgrade. this one. Oh, dash in any, any direction. Okay. Yeah, that's actually wonderful. Oh, no, never mind. Can't submerge here. Nor anywhere over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, an omnidirectional dash is certainly a big deal. I will say that the, um, to some extent, the plant seeds are extremely disappointing. Every time we find a cool little, what looks like it might be a cool little secret room, uh, and we go in there, and it is not a bar extender or anything, it's just, it's just a small amount of money, eventually. It does really bum me out. Ah! It's 
actually really hard to pull an execution off on those enemies. They have just so, so little health. Ow. Camera work. Mm. Does look like there could be something. Yeah, there totally is. Does this yeah this isn't gonna connect back who would have thought that a sewer in a video game would be a big weird labyrinth wait a second okay no I thought that was a gap in the ceiling hey this is a very very familiar <laughs> Just a, a whole different area that looks exactly like that, really? No, this is the same... Huh, why is it not filled in on the map? Also, where is this little... This is this little space on the map. What a weird... It's so weird that the ladder actually appears on the map as a barrier. That's very strange. I guess I didn't come back here after we died, right? We respawned there, and then I just fell straight down the thing. Well, now that gate's open, uh, I'm going to go and hit the repair station, though, real quickly, as long as we're down here. me, excuse me. Managed to walk all the way back to the last subway station. Actually, that's a good question. Do I want to just take the subway? No, there's so much stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just go back this way. There are still things to explore. It is going to be an awful lot of running, though. There really are a lot of just one-way doors in this game, though, huh? I don't know. What do you think about that? I think it's it's unusual a little bit in that, like, I feel like in a lot of Metroidvania-style games, a lot of these would be, um, you know, like, weapon-locked. Instead of just being a door you have to be on the other side of to press a button. And I guess in practice, it's not super different, especially if you're gating the access to the areas where the button is with the weapon locks, but I don't know, it does seem strange. Far be it from me to be like, we must adhere to, to, to tradition though. Okay, a teleporter's interesting news. So this is going to connect us back to this other part of the power station area. Oh, hey! Did not, um... What is... Okay. What do iframes even mean to you? I guess the, the smart thing 
is to get this thing to drive over there and then jump off of it to climb the room. Yeah, I was not expecting there to be an actual boss fight just randomly in this in this room to connect us back to uh, to what I guess is Old Town. There's not a huge amount of reason for us to go back to Old Town anyway. Yeah. So wait, where's... If we take the teleporter to Joffrey Street... Here, let's just go ahead and do this. Because I want to turn in my plant seeds. I want to buy the stuff at the Joffrey Street Merchant. And I think we have enough money to get everything that we need. on so we definitely had more posters right by turning the posters I had to turn the posters into the bear first Ray, there you well you poster single how do you like my paint job okay you're weird and your voice acting is inconsistent um, sure. Yeah, it looks okay. Right, hold on. We should be able to complete drill training, right? Did I buy all of the drill stuff? Well, no, I didn't buy all of it. Is this 400? And there's still stuff that's locked by who knows what. I have some machines and puppet. Let me see here. Practice makes perfect. Can we actually Diligence complete drill training? Is the key to martial arts. Uh, no, then. I guess I'll come back once we've actually got all the moves unlockable. Have you heard about the jailbreak at the Iron Dog prison? No, no need to no, stare. It wasn't you. I am the famous flying mouse. Okay. I mean, yeah, you are obviously a mouse and not a rat, and obviously exactly the same creature as those other things that were calling themselves rats. Okay, so apparently we just have to buy Gold skeleton and keys. Silver keys are no Sadly, the skeleton key, I guess, is single use. Not really optimal. So wait, I want to buy the other. The real shop is below this. It looks like. Yeah, here Welcome we go. Welcome to Jingles' shop. Hi, Jingles. That's important. It turns out I didn't quite have enough money because I didn't plan on buying $600 worth of keys. All right. Thank you for your business. That's fine. We'll get the uh, we'll get the other thing later. I wanted to make sure I got the shard. So now the question of whether it is worth it to go back to the places where the uh, where the chests were. Wait, where's the teleporter? Oh, it's right. It's above the. Yep. Okay. Where were they? There's a bunch of them, right? We saw, we saw like three or four, I think. So. Well, it sure looks like you could just climb right up to the top of Torch Tower. Did I never go up there? Actually, there's a ton of stuff in, there's a bunch of directions we didn't go there. That's interesting. I wonder why I didn't go there. 
Well, that's a chest, right? And it's not very far from the teleporter. Yeah, okay, let's go to the power station. I want to see what kinds of things are in these chests. Is it maybe the case that the, um, that the money we spent on these keys was not worthwhile? <laughs> it totally could be. We're going to find out. All right, so left and down. Yeah, down, then right, then down, then left. Pretty bad work on my part. Fortunately, not punished for it. My reward. Okay, you know, if they're gonna have like HP extracts in them, then yes, absolutely worthwhile. Uh, and there's not, there's not anything else around here that we, hmm, curious. All right, let's go figure out why we didn't map all this stuff out. There's probably good reasons. It is, it is probably the case that those are inaccessible in some way. I have been through the roof, okay. I don't know. In my head, I was going to parry, but I definitely just dashed forward as he approached, which is like the opposite of parrying. and then at the bottom of the slope on the other side. Yep, I just totally missed this. And there's nothing down here except empty barrels? Um... Huh. That's really weird. Why would that be the case? Why would they why would they make that room? They weren't gonna put any things in it. Alright, and then in theory to the right over here. I appreciate that as a way of demonstrating the danger posed by the lasers. Oh, right, because this was a cell before. Oh, no, it's... Maybe this isn't... I thought this was the crying kid's cell, but I guess not. 
Uh, there's a yellow door there that we can't access, so I guess... Yeah, I guess we're kind of done. We can just climb up that. There does seem to be an open top to that shaft, but then we should probably just teleport out of here. Hmm. There's an elevator all the way over there that we've just never used? It probably doesn't actually work, but we have to at least go look, right? Ow. That stings. Just a little. No, this elevator totally works. Where does this go? This is just more power station. Just a whole part of the power station we've never been in before. That's, <laughs> that's still kind of loading into place. Okay, with the door that has to be... Oh, hi. Scared the heck out of me, if I'm being honest. You know what? That's fine. I'll just... I'll just see myself out. Weird. I wonder what, what that other... the other side of that door connects to. Okay, so... we want to go... to the right over here. That's... huh. Yeah, and then climb up. Uh, that sucks. I got very stuck on basically nothing. Okay, that's like to fall a small amount, not. Not that much. Just want a place where I can plant my feet so I can drink. Again, trying to do stuff in the air. It's so hitchy. Oh, I actually can't get up any higher. Well... Yeah, alright, alright, alright. My suspicion is that the penalty for failing this is that we fall quite a bit further than I would like. Huh, how did I manage to make it that one time so easily? Can I clean to the top of the doorway here? Nope. Alright. Okay, we made it. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to make it. presence of that that blue thing makes me feel like we're probably supposed to have whatever traversal thing that is before we get up here but okay yeah still whole new areas actually whole new rooms I should say oh howdy I'm not gonna lie that's intimidating Okay, I thought that was a platform I could get up on. Oh, can't parry that one. Ooh, wow, if that hits you once, it just... You get all of it. I think that looked like it was probably parryable. I just didn't do it. Ah. Okay. 
This is this is absolutely doable. I can I can make this work. Ow. <clears throat> yeah, weird to just like <laughs> find a boss randomly in this area that you don't even necessarily have to be able to get to. I'm curious what's over here too. Okay, a new... All right, this is an area we've already been to. We're just on the other side of the door. Once again, sort of reaffirming for me that this is like... I, I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. This time I at least have full EP. Ow. Okay. You'd see me trying to mash out the parry there. Yeah, his pattern's not, like, super hard or anything. It's just that if you miss anything, you get extremely punished. sure if that was a breakable like a, a punch breakable shield or not oh you can air parry press k too early well uh. all right don't get greedy Parried like a little tiny bit early there. You like it rough, too bad you're a softie. It's like a f totally bizarre thing to say, right? Because if I if I like it rough, that that means I'm not a softie. That's not how. Okay. Weird. Well, I guess we're just gonna start the fight down a bar. I guess I should. I should have drunk up before coming down here because there was a chance I could have pulled an execution off on that thing. But okay, this is super doable. Kill them all. 
We don't know. He might have more new attacks in the second health bar beyond just the big throw. The big, the big bouncy throw. I'm not sure if that's better or worse damage than doing the, um... Ah, damn it. Not able to animation cancel that into a parry. Yeah, I don't know. Doing the triple light combo with the um, just that like tap heavy on the end, I think it's less total damage, but it does. It, I feel safer doing it because you can cancel out of the light animations really easily. Damn it. There we go. Really? He gets to... Apparently, he sometimes he gets to perform a version of that attack that has no wind-up. Ah, uh, come on. Alright, I guess that's not so bad. These should be skippable. Also, they can't be good for the teeth on your saws, dude. I feel like I parried that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, that, um, apparently it has some vacuum properties. I did not realize. Because I was definitely below it on those stairs, but it pulled me back up. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna have to try this again. I have a hard time telling the difference between the wind-up for the, um the diagonal up throw and the wind up for his little like jump forward punch so i keep jumping over him getting ready to hit him in the back and it turns out he's doing the wrong one okay we're gonna time this correctly this time nope that's not good ah almost i have to go even earlier than that Okay, this, this is going to be the one, though. Apologies that we, <laughs> we may not make very much forward, like, mapping progress today. I will say this. This has been very good parry practice. Yeah, I don't know. The, the damage is not super different between the two, the two combos. It doesn't seem like. Uh. 
Yeah, but see if I go for that one and it he decides to start blocking mid-combo, as he sometimes does, we pay for it very badly. The other one I can cancel out of more easily. Nope. Here it's, yeah, right after the charge, it's safe to do the big one because he, he never starts blocking in the middle of that. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Oof. Yeah, never mind, never mind. Yeah, because sometimes you get the full thing there. That was a little little greedy on my part, I think. I should probably should probably have just let the reset happen. Alright, we're getting there. Interesting. He did start blocking. Okay, last health bar. Ow. Bummer. Okay, come on now. There we go. <laughs> Need to back off so I can drink. It was close. I should have I should have attacked. Actually, it looks like we still have time. Did take some damage. Should definitely not have just stood there. That was that was dangerous for sure. Okay. Damn it! Let me let me kill you. Jesus! I can't believe I almost blew that at the end. Uh, so so hold on. He didn't even drop anything. Like he just refilled my health. I, okay. That seemed like a pretty significant fight, but maybe not. Yep, just just weird weird mini boss. Okay. I mean honestly, not even that mini. That was that was like a boss. That had that was two health bars. Well, I gotta Data disk. It's not nothing, but it is also just like a thing that is sometimes randomly floating in space. We should add this to the map here. Since the game does not remember mapping over deaths. Okay, anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I kind of like the idea that you can just be wandering around and run into a uh, a unique enemy with with all kinds of new attacks and stuff. But I also would like to get paid out when I beat something that hard. And we got some money, but like, 
All right. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, and get out of here. So, sorry. Hold on a second. Where do I want to go? Cause like we have these we have these keys, right? Where where are the other chests that we've found? Hmm. I feel like we we have at least enough chests to consume all of the keys that we have. But maybe I don't remember where they are at all. That's a chest that just wasn't the like the room it's in wasn't even accessed. Is that easy to get to? Where's the Where's the teleporter around here? It's not that hard to get to. Okay, yeah, let's do that. The arsenal. I guess the coastal fortress. Yeah, we're 50 minutes into the episode. We've made basically no no plot type progress, but we sure did kill a weird guy with a weird guy practicing snapping testudo style. So you know that's something. A weird murder always feels like a victory. It feels to me like we're going to get down there and we're going to find that this is actually closed, right? Because we were just here, and it feels to me like the kind of thing I would have checked if we could have checked it. I don't know. Let's... So, down and then... Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry, I have to look at the map every three seconds. This is your brain with, um, you know, all of the various problems that I have. <laughs> so over there, down, down. Yep. Okay. Please don't make me fight the tank again. All right. Oh, no, that's right. We did come into this room, and then I guess I must have died somewhere, and that's why it's not still on the... Okay, that time it was a disc. That's fine. Yeah, there's one of these things down here, and who knows? Okay, so good to get that on the map. So yeah, it's always a bunch of money and something. It's paying... I, I, I didn't pay attention to exactly how much money it was, but it's paying back at least a significant portion of the price of the key. Plus, plus some kind of item that I actually care about. So yeah, I feel... I feel okay about buying these. Where is the... I could have sworn we had seen one more. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's just go back up. I'm not actually going to be able to get up this way, right? Well, maybe. I have to remember, I have the Omni Dash now. And we figured out what that was, too. Huzzah. Okay. And this thing is actually lowered, which is nice. Ow. Trying to get commands to register when you jump, especially if you've just jumped, like you're fresh, fresh up into the air. What a nightmare. Uh, we have to go up. May as well do this, that I don't 
suddenly die in a really embarrassing way. I finally did it right. All right. Let's clean up one, ladle, one last little piece of business here. We definitely have the money now to buy that last thing from the Joffrey Street vendor. So let's get that so we don't have to worry about it later. And then next episode, we can focus on like actual forward progress stuff. Part of the reason I don't play a lot of metroidvanias on the channel even though I it is a genre that I like um, is that I just always feel weird doing a lot of backtracking but boy there's a lot of backtracking in these games right I guess I could like edit it that sounds like a lot of work welcome to Jingles' shop all right Jingles I need your HP extract please Thank you for your business. Feeling pretty great about that. He prints out the receipt, but then he just keeps it. I feel like if you're gonna give it to me, that's one thing. If you're just gonna, why, why even bother wasting the paper if you're just gonna keep it? I will say I do not actually want it. I just, I just think you shouldn't have it either. <laughs> Okay. Back to the, uh, wait, which, which one of these goes to the sewers? We want that one. So none of these are marked Old Town, but I think it's this one. Or none, none of these are marked sewers, rather. It's near Old Town, but I think I think this is approximately the right spot on the map, even though the name is not correct. Uh, no. No, in fact. We need one that is considerably to the left of here. Yeah, part of the problem is I never zoomed the map out enough to like look at the whole thing. We want the bottom, the bottom leftmost. Yeah, sec second leftmost overall. It says Old Town even though it's on the sewer side of the divider. Okay. Hooray, we did it. <laughs> All right, well, I think that is where we are going to leave that for today. There we go, that's what that's supposed to look like. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I think we've had a relatively successful first week of this, uh, <laughs> of this thing. Uh, when you come back next time on Monday, we're gonna maybe accomplish some actual plot and maybe fast forward through some of that plot to get back to the part where we get to kill people with a giant drill, because that is super fun. And we'll see you then. <laughs>